Hey, honey. Hey. You look beautiful. Thank you. Look at you. <laughs> All right. Oh. You ready to do this vlog? I'm ready. I am here with my beautiful wife, and we are just so excited to talk about a new uh, series that we're going to do in our playlist, and it's going to be on marriage, relationships, marriage advice, uh, things like that. And today, what I want to tell you is, first of all, happy belated Valentine's Day. Happy belated Valentine's Day. And um, the main thing that I want to tell you is today we're going to talk about how to love your spouse. Mm, it's a good good topic what do you think about that i think that's a great topic it's something that it may seem simple um but it does hold a lot of weight mm -hmm. a lot of weight so i think what we're, we're going to talk about it's going to touch and bless people. awesome yeah so a lot of times we make the mistake when we're married mm -hmm. um <laughs> this happens all the time a lot of times what happens is we know how we like to be loved right and we will oftentimes love our spouse the way that we want to be loved yep let me give it an illustration as you can see i am holding my wife because uh my love language is touch yes there's a great book called the five love languages you should take a look at it i'll put the link in the description below but it talks about how um th there's like five major ways that human beings uh like to receive love right um there's words of affirmation physical touch, uh, acts, acts of, of service, service, yep, quality time, and gifts. gifts, right. And so you fall in one of those categories or two of those categories. And for me, uh, words of affirmation and physical touch is very important to me. So when I first got married to my wife, I was always telling her she was beautiful and lovely, <laughs> and I was always hugging her and all that. And then I realized that... I, I didn't mind it. That was great. But it wasn't her love but language. But it wasn't my love language. And it wasn't clicking. And it was more like, again, it was great. But my uh, two top uh, love languages is acts of service. That's actually my highest. And then quality time. So acts of service is, in a nutshell, if you do things for me, that means you love me. And then quality time is quality time. Just spend time with me without interruptions. No looking at your phone, none right. of that. Like actually pay attention to me. Yeah. And I started to realize accidentally that whenever I would wash the dishes <laughs> or sweep, I literally swept her off her feet because she thought that was like the hottest thing. And then, you know, like so I'd hot. be washing dishes <laughs> and she'll be like, babe, you look so hot right now. And I'm like, what is wrong with this chick? What is wrong with her? I loved it. I thought but, it was so hot. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But that's the way that she likes to be loved. Yep. And so what happens a lot of times is, is we miscommunicate mm -hmm. in marriage oftentimes with speaking one love language while the other person is fluent in another love language. Right. And that creates a lot of issues. It creates mm -hmm. barriers. It creates frustrations. frustrations. And, and really, like, if it's not dealt with and if it's not properly communicated, uh, the person can feel, like, abandoned. Yeah, it abandoned, it, it frustration. I mean, the list goes on. But honestly, it it really is simple. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of, and, and this is it's simple. The way you can learn what that person's love language is, is one, you know, communication. But two, you know, you, you'll see what, they do on a day-to-day -day basis what makes them smile what what makes them um yeah <laughs> i just spaced out it's okay what makes them smile yeah what 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 makes their heart move like what do you notice that really gets them going like he said as soon as he washed dishes and and folded laundry or mm -hmm. maybe did something for me Here's some three things that you can take away with you. Mm -hmm. Number one, find out what your love language is. Yeah. If you don't know what your love language is, um, in the link, there's a description on it, so you can take the quiz. Um, or um, if you don't know what your love language is, possibly your, your spouse knows mm -hmm. what makes you tick and what makes you upset. Mm -hmm. So find out what your love language is. Number two, find out what your spouse's love language is. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And number three, practice mm -hmm. loving one another 
with that love language. Yes. So if I, if she speaks acts of service and quality time, I can't just go with words of affirmation or physical touch or gifts. Right. Right. I have to go with the love language that she receives love. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I would do. Learn to speak the love language. Mm -hmm. Be selfless. Love is selfless. Super selfless. Love doesn't seek its own, the Bible says. Mm. Right. The Bible says that love uh, does not seek its own interests. Mm -hmm. It's sacrificial. It's right. giving. It That's doesn't right. look to itself. Right. And so we need to practice that mode of being. That's right. um, we need to selflessly love our spouse. That's right. And, and here's the great thing. If you selflessly mm -hmm. love your spouse mm -hmm. and take the time to speak their love language, the Holy Spirit in turn will breathe upon your spouse and they will do the same for, for you. you. Yes. You lay your life down. And they will lay down the, uh, their lives for you. Yes. A lot of times with issues with marriages, there's fear involved. And we think the other person is not going to reciprocate back. But if you're in the Lord and you have a godly marriage or you're, you know, you're starting out to have a marriage, you just believe the best. And yes, th the Bible even says that love believes the best in all. Yes. And uh, you can never go wrong with loving someone in a way that they like to be loved. That's right. Right? Yes. So let's pray. Well, Father, right now, I just lift up yes. all the marriages watching. Yes. Um, I ask right now, Holy Spirit, that you may breathe your life upon these marriages. Lord, that you mend the areas that need to be mended and bring restoration, Lord. I ask, Holy yes. Spirit, that they may learn what makes each other just uh, grow and flourish and what moves the other's heart, Father. May their marriages be a selfless marriage. May you help them in communicating yes. what it is that they feel and think. And, and may the other person receive that and act upon it. And may they have a selfless marriage. I ask that you be glorified, that you may be in the center of their marriage. And if there is a spouse that is a non-believer, Father, that through the believing yes. spouse serving them and loving them, there will be salvation brought into yes. that home. In Jesus' name, I pray this so. Amen. Amen. Hey, guys, if you like this, please like, subscribe share comment below mm -hmm. it really means a lot to me and my family if you guys subscribe and uh god bless and until next time until next time